I always wanted to do stand up, always too shy to get in front of the in front of the, everybody and speak. And it was actually, you know, comedy comes out of tragedy. My my mom passed away, and I started writing her eulogy. And some of the things I put in her eulogy were kind of like funny anecdotes and everything. And I wound up telling, you know, some stories and feeling like, you know what? I, I'm dealing with sadness. I want to find a way to, to find, you know, humor in life and to smile again because I was going through a really hard time. So I started um, taking a class and learned about comedy writing and getting up on stage and I just fell in love with it. Started doing open mics and I never looked back. I just had a great time. The first time I ever did an open mic was at the other bar. Um, and I was just energized to do it. I just said, you know, you get, you get your courage up, you're like, I'm just gonna do it. And it was like everyone says, an out of body experience. I was the last guy to go up. There's about four people in the audience, and the host was super nice. It was Brian Glowacki, um, great comic, and he put me up, and I got a few laughs, and that was enough. You know, I, I really felt like that was. I built some, a little bit of confidence in what D. Glow said afterwards and he told me he liked my stuff. And, yeah, I don't know if he was just being supportive or whatnot, but it helped me get to the next mic and the next mic. So. I love Steve Martin. Always been a huge Steve Martin fan. Eddie Murphy as well. I mean, going back to the 80s. Recently, I am really liking Sebastian Maniscalco. I enjoy all of his comedy specials. I, I, I tend to not watch as much comedy as I used to, but I feel I laugh out loud watching him. He's very physical. He's very funny, and um, I I really enjoy the Sebastian Maniscalco and Sarah Silverman's another one. Uh, I like. um, and I like I, there's so many comics I, I enjoy, but uh, Seinfeld uh, was big in the, big for me in the '90s. And, and even Paul Reiser, he went to my college, you know. So. As a kid, my favorite comedy film was The Jerk with Steve Martin. I love that movie. I've supposed to have seen it like a thousand times. Um, and I, I loved anything with Steve Martin. Three Amigos, and some of his more serious stuff, like L.A. Story. Um, Eddie Murphy, all of his you know, trading places, 48 hours, Beverly's Cop, 1, 2, and 3, and, um, his, his live stand-up, Delirious Raw, I mean, was, that was, that was growing up, I was growing up with that, like, you know, grew up with Richard Pryor, it was a little bit before me, I grew up with Steve Martin and uh, Eddie Murphy, and George Carlin, too, George Carlin is brilliant, so brilliant, and every, I don't necessarily laugh out loud at his stuff, but I'm just blown away by the intellect and the, and, and the way he's, his viewpoints in the world. Always watched SNL. Always watched that. I still watch it. Um, it's great to, that, that format that we have to get everything together in one week and the table reads and the dress rehearsal and just to get all of that out. Sitcoms, I used to watch, you know, Cheers and uh, geez, Cosby Show, Family Ties, Night Court, all those uh, must see TV things. I like to look back on them. I like to. Like to I even like the screwball stuff from the 70s, like Three's Company. Three's Company with John Ritter. Very funny stuff. I mean, it wouldn't play now, but it, it's, it was hysterical in its time. I wouldn't want to go on tour with somebody as great as, as, some, as, as Steve Martin or Eddie Murphy because I wouldn't, I wouldn't measure up. I would not measure up. It's, that's a really hard question. I, I love what I do, and I just love to be doing comedy with anyone. So I would just say the next guy who'll have me on stage will be the next guy I like to do comedy with. Don Rickles, got to go with one of the best. He is the best in Slow Comic there is. Then there's Triumph, the Insult Comic Dog for Conan O'Brien, which was like the you know, he used him as his protege, protege of Don Rickles. Um, Anthony Jeselnik, oh, he's cruel. He's a cruel guy. Let's see. Oh, I don't know. I can't think of any more. Um, um, who, could, who could roast me? I don't know. Any, 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 any schmo could roast me. I'm pretty an I'm easy target. I'll go with three.
I, li I like acting. Uh, I started doing acting about six months ago. Really like it. I tried improv a little. I I need to do more improv. It'll help me with crowd work. It's something I plan to try to do. I've never been attracted to that team effort thing. And it's not because I don't want to work with other people like that. It's just I just feel more introspective, like in introverted, and more kind of like being on my own on stage. I hope to be featuring more. I love emceeing. I'm trying to build my sets longer and longer, stretching out. So I think I, I would like to be a pretty strong feature in the next five years. I don't think I'll be quite ready to headline yet. I, I want to be ready for that. So I would hope within the next five years I'm a reliable, strong feature. Facebook is the easiest way. Um, I'm on Instagram as well. Um, Instagram's Mitchell Mitch Silver Comedy, and uh, Facebook is Mitch Silver, and I'm on Twitter as well. Hopefully, they enjoyed the set. They laughed and made them think a little bit, and just forgot their problems, and um, just laughed at some funny stuff. I'm Mitch Silver, and I'm being interviewed on CutiePie.com. Why aren't I a CutiePie?